It may not look obvious, but the nation's agricultural sector as it is today represents a long and dark struggle for the realization of Nigeria's food security aspirations. Kebi State, located in the northwest geopolitical zone, has a land mass of 36,800 square kilometers. It has the largest Fadama farm land mass in the country and has a sizable farming population, many of whom say they are yet to have a fair deal from government policies and programs on agriculture. The grounds of farmers here revolves on diversion of subsidies on fertilizer and farm implements, lack of efficient financial credit system, high cost of labor, inadequate water for plant and animal use, and the absence of a marketing board for price standardization for agricultural produce. To ascertain the true state of affairs in the Kebbi State agricultural sector, Channels Television hit the road from the state capital, Brunin Kebbi, traveling over 400 kilometers to Maja village in Bagudo local government area of the state. Here, the largest farm in Kebbi State is situated. This farm, sitting on over 5,000 hectares of fertile loamy soil, employs about 250 people and fetches an annual income of over 100 million naira for its owner. It symbolizes the endless possibilities in agriculture in terms of wealth creation and employment generation. We met the owner of the farm and asked him about what it takes to manage a large commercial farm like his own, without government support. For him, obtaining government support as a farmer is like squeezing water out of stone, saying he managed against all odds to build the largest farm in Kebi State and to earn the revered title of Sarkin Noma after he decided to take his destiny in his own hands and stop relying on government for handouts that never came. Lack of getting uh, <coughs> improved seed, then the lack of getting uh, some funds through the NACB bank, that no bank is helping the farmers today. If you look at the farmers of those days, they will be given loan either through the NACB bank or directly by the bank. The loan, the conditions given to farmers, no one can be able to assess the fund. When Channels Television confronted the Commissioner for Agriculture in Kebi State over the plethora of allegations raised by the farmers, he admitted that corrupt practices by way of diversion of budgetary allocations and fertilizer subsidies have resulted in the disconnection between relevant government agencies and the farmers. To be frank, if what we have been singing about agriculture uh, have been uh, you know, actualized, we wouldn't have been talking about this now. Uh, but the main problem is corruption. Let me tell you, it is eating deep down in our... So KB is not, an, in, not in isolation. It is happening everywhere. So put, uh, allocate uh, certain things for agriculture. Half of it is not there. The revelations here in Kebi State may not be a healthy development for a nation that aspires to be one of the largest economies in nine years' time. The success story of al Haji Jega eloquently illustrates the fact that though government support to farmers is very important, it is still possible for farmers to succeed in agribusiness on their own due to the ever-expanding market both at home and abroad.